Hello friends, welcome to Magnotech YouTube channel. Friends, in this video, we are going to see the example for length of path of contact. So, I hope you have seen the video for theory lecture for length of path of contact. Okay, so let's start. Two involute gears of 20 degree pressure angle are in mesh. It means here the gear having profile is involute and pressure angle phi is 20 degree given. Okay. Now the number of teeth on pinion is 20. It means small t is 20 and the gear ratio is 2. Now what is the gear ratio? It is the ratio of number of teeth on driving wheel to the driven it means pinion okay so number of teeth on driving gear to the pinion gear that is called the gear ratio and it is 2 if the pH expressed in module is 5 mm so here module is also given m is equal to 5 mm so this is a very important term module and the pitch line speed is 1.2 meter per second so here V is also given 1.2 meter per second. One thing assume over here that is addendum as standard and equal to 1 module. So addendum is equal to 1 module and is equal to 5 mm. So here module is equal to 5 mm. So addendum is equal to 5 mm. Now angle turn through by pinion when the one pair of teeth is in mesh. So that we have to find out and what is the equation for that. So, as we know the angle turned through by the pinion, it means it is equal to the length of arc of contact into whole 360 degree divided by circumference of the pinion, it means 2 pi r. So, this is the radius of pinion, okay, that we will find and length of arc of contact that also we have to find and for this we have to find length of path of contact okay so first of all we have to find the length of path of contact that is kl okay so let's start here now uh, small r it is a radius of pitch circle radius of the pinion so here you can see this is a small r which is a pitch circle radius in pinion so module is equal to d by t okay but here instead of d we should put 2r okay so here 2r is equal to m okay upon so here we can say 2r upon t is equal to m so t will come to this side and 2 will come to downside so 5 into 20 by 2 is equal to 50 mm small r is equal to 50 mm okay now capital r you can see here capital r is the pitch circle radius of the wheel and it is a same equation like m into t by 2 but here capital T. Now capital T is not given here so here but so capital T is not given here but g is given here here ratio is equal to capital T upon small t. So instead of capital T we can write g into small t. So here instead of capital T we can write g into small t okay so m g t by 2 so this is uh, 2 that means it is a gear ratio 20 it, it is a teeth number of teeth on pinion 5 that is a module so finally capital capital r is equal to 100 mm now radius of the addendum circle of pinion r a is equal to r plus addendum you can see here this is r a this is r a so r a is equal to r plus addendum so r plus addendum it means 50 plus 5 is equal to 55 mm and capital r a here capital r a is equal to capital r plus addendum it means 100 plus 5 is equal to 105 m so by this way we can find out small r a and capital r a now as you are, i hope you have seen the theory portion so here we got the directly equation for kp and pl and length of path of contact is equal to kl is equal to kp plus pl so as shown this figure kpl this is the length of path of contact okay so we have to find kp and then pl so kp equation is under root ra square minus r square cos square phi minus r sin phi 
but here you can see r sin phi it is a separate from this under root okay now putting the value of r a r and phi we can find out the kp okay and then by uh, same same equation using over here pl is equal to under root small r a square minus small r square cos square phi minus small r sin phi okay and this is also separate from this under root now putting the value of r a r and phi we can find out pl so kp is equal to 12.65 and pl is equal to 11.5 so kl is equal to 24.15 mm after find out kl we have to find the length of arc of contact so here kl upon cos phi so kl is equal to 24.15 upon cos phi that is 20 degree so is equal to 25.7 mm so the length of arc of contact is 25.7 mm now put this value over here and you will get the angle turned through by pinion 25.7 into 360 upon 2 pi r okay this is a small r and by this way we can get the answer 29.45 degree it is the angle turned through a by pinion okay now for the maximum velocity of sliding here omega 1 that is the angular speed of pinion and omega 2 that is the angular speed of fill so maximum velocity of sliding vs is equal to we can say omega 1 plus omega 2 into kp so here velocity is given pitch line velocity v is given you can see here okay so v is given over here that is 1.2 meter per second so here uh, if we convert it into mm then it is 120 divided by 5 okay this is a radius so 120 divided by 5 that is 24 radian per second and omega 2 that is 12 radian per second so vs is equal to 24 plus 12 into kp so this is into mm per second so 455.4 mm per second so this is a maximum velocity of sliding so friends i hope you like this video and if you like it then press the like button share this video and please don't forget to subscribe thank you jai hind jai bharat